Hello, here is a little update to the, the hair shader for HD render pipeline and just some things to set up to make your hair look good. Now you see initially that it looks a little bit noisy uh, in the scene here. You know, you can see all the pixels and there's no anti-aliasing. Um, you'll also see that the the hair that, that uh, Unity creates for you is quite nice as well, apart from the, the sorting issue. So one way about that is just to mix this with uh, one of my own hair shaders. So you can see there's the two various kinds here and kind of tone them up to be the same. So if I take this one, for example, and make it so it's a bit more brown like this, and also take few of these values down. So the anisotropy is a bit too high. Bring that down and the smoothness. Uh, it just needs to be a little bit more brownish. Right, I'm just going to move that back in place. And so there we got the two kind of hairs working together. Uh, I can take this one now and change some of the values here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Alpha clipping. Here we go. Metallic. Bring the metallic up a little bit. Just brings the color back in. Reduce the smoothness a bit. And you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Okay, so going back to just using my own VRTC hair shader. Uh, you've got the control of everything that you know. I think you like. But good thing I set up is to put on your main camera's post-process layer is to use the temporal anti-aliasing. And when you play this, <coughs> excuse me, when you play this, you'll see that it will gradually start to iron out some of the noise, and it actually looks quite smooth. And it does the same for all the hairs here. Um, just bear in mind the settings are a little bit delicate. <coughs> Excuse me. So you see as you change these, uh, you get different kind of, like that's really noisy, right? You might not see it so well in the video, but you just want it to be quite minimal. And you can play around with sharpness and things there as well. But once the, the characters are in motion and everything's moving in the scene, then you can see that this would be quite a good solution. So you can imagine that, you know, everything's in motion and you you get a kind of natural blur from everything like that. Um, you know, just moving these around a little bit. Uh, I've added just some skin. Uh, I set up for the skin, the subsurface scattering for the, the head here just to give you a little head start. I've just added a base texture that uh, came from my skin shader pack. And this is just to get you started, you know, with your setup. And I think this is a pretty good little pack. Uh, the eyes that I've created for another pack, I'll be remaking for um, HD render pipeline. It might take a little while to come round to that. But I think uh, so far so good. These are looking pretty nice. I'm just gonna change this hair back to brown just to give you the the concept. So just gonna move this down around here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, another thing that I changed was the shadows. Um, so if you go into your scene shadow settings and you can change like the the distance before the shadows start to fade out so you see i've got this set to three you can bring it down to like one and it means you'll get 
you'll get more detailed shadows but they will fade earlier you can change the cascade count and things and when these will change so I'll change that back to four and uh, you can also change things like uh, shadow map, near plane and bias and things like that uh, there was a way to change the actual intensity of the shadows but I've lost where that is um, yeah I have no idea shadow dimmer yeah I thought it was in here but I don't think this actually does anything Okay, so that's pretty much getting things set up for HD Render Pipeline for uh, this Human Shader Pack for HD type of uh, project. Anything else, just ask in the, the comments or, you know, get in touch. But I think this looks pretty good. I'm just going to change the camera angle to this and run it again. See, initially it looks a little bit blurry, but when we play it, it kind of cleans up a little bit. There we go. And then it starts to bring in the temporal lacing. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.